Well, you guys asked for it, and you will get it. This is our old school farming start out here on Autumn Oaks. Took me a while to fix some of the issues on this map, but you can see up there we're running a nice 60 frames per second. I picked this high countryside for our spot of land here so we could see the country. Just like all my builds, I like to start out with a little watering hole, a little fishing hole per se. This map is a little bit different because the low spot is way down in the valley. I like to put the sand texture on the bottom of this pond. It gives the water an extra tint and a more realistic glow. Now we'll put some of the trees down. Decided to put a flag down and some forgotten buildings over here by it too. Now it just needs some more trees around it. Now on to the important part, the farmyard on the hill. I'm so happy I was able to get the grass textures into this map. Now, of course, we gotta make room for our shop barn. By the road with a nick in my head, in the wrong side of town. Definitely takes some extra time landscaping when you're dealing with an uneven surface, like on a hill. Down below the farmyard here, we will build our cold storage in our newer shop. It's important when you're building on the side of a hill that you have a pre-plan. What am I thinking? I always just wing it. If you're dealing with a side of the hill, best to just contour it down and then level afterwards. Now, crank up that strength of the smoothing tool. Like I said before, I always just wing it. Now 
Definitely going to have some steep driveways for this farmyard. Now we'll contour the back of our cold storage. Remember, crank up that strength of that smoother. We'll put a straw barn over here. Finally got that barn to fit. Now we got to do a lot of work to make it look natural. Definitely want to have horses on this farmyard. Horses will definitely have a nice view of the countryside at this point. We will also have some laying hens on this farmyard. Now a ton of work to make it look natural. Why not? Let's put some stinky pigs on the farmyard too. I bet you guys can guess what I'm clearing out this piece of land for. And of course, what would Otto Mokes be without cows? It's not going to be easy making this look natural. Definitely going to take some time smoothing out this seal side. Now we'll highlight some grass on it. and start cutting out some driving paths. Of course we have to put an old school standing silo in. Small stuff is key, even if it's a little grass growing in the dirt paths.
Now we'll fix up our cold storage. Now we'll put down a pig food bunker. Now we'll put down a few hoppers of food. Now we'll clean this area up and make it look natural. Took me a while to figure out where I wanted my seed hopper at. But before I get them placed, I figured I better figure out where I want my bin set at. Figure down here by the lower farm yard would be the best. Now we gotta do a lot of work around these bins to make it look natural. Do a little clean up around our driveway. We'll put a little extra manure point by the cattle here. And finally get our lime seed and fertilizer station set. I would do a lot of cleanup to make it look natural. So this map doesn't have a working cell point, so we will have to put our own down, buy this piece of land, and move this cell point over. Make this look like a legit business. Now you know what time it is, tree time. I find it easier to start with the bigger trees and then work on down.
Always like putting in a lot of brush for that low on the ground sight picture. Now we got to do a lot of last minute touch ups. Now we'll take a quick look at the farmyard before we get all of our equipment over here. Look at that view we get from our front porch. Now let's take a look with the machinery in place. Man, am I really going to enjoy this series. Always got to put some yard art tractors down. I call you up in the middle of the night, been bothered by dreams, ain't feeling all right. You give me comfort, say just give. Sometime by the end of our talk, I'm feeling just fine. You and I will always know where we belong. This ain't no ordinary love we got going on. Definitely going to have some beautiful summer breezes on this hillside.
we'll leave you here with this beautiful view from our front porch for a while. we can't forget to look at our beautiful fishing hole. This is going to be an old school to new school animal farm here on Autumn Oaks. We are going to farm the old way like the, our parents did and move on up to the newer equipment. Come join us on this beautiful American farm honoring all of our hardworking ranchers and farmers out there. Hope to see ya. Thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you later here on Autumn Oaks.